welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the build of our teardrop trailer or in these days it's probably going to be a bug out trailer well without any further ado the day has arrived i've got the file on i've cut it i've got it laying on top now we got to do a little bit of trim work and then we'll open the garage door lay it out we'll get some glue spread on this thing and uh, we'll press it in place so to cut the file on I know I used to, last time I was cutting this stuff, I was using a pair of like tin snips. And although that worked, it was a long process. Jigsaws create too much dust and it uh, splinters the edge of the phylon. So, what we're going to use is uh, Central Pneumatic. Nice little air shears. Uh, these are good for like metal work if you're going to do some metal, but they also work really good on this phylon. So we're going to roll this back down. I've got a line draw where I want to cut it. And we're just going to go ahead and trim that. Then we'll take the file on, set it out on some tables here, blow everything off, get it nice dust free, make sure there's no staples or anything sticking up on the top of the roof. Then we'll get some adhesive put down on this and get it installed. That's the plan. So let's get to work. All right. I thought I hit record. I didn't. So I did trim off the back here, but I want to show you how easy it is to cut this file on with that uh, pneumatic shear. So I've got a scrap piece here. I drew a line on it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this piece here just to show you how easy and how quick it is and the results. So give me just a second. So I picked this up at uh, Harbor Freight. I can't remember how much I paid for it, maybe 20 or 30 bucks, and uh, used it on several projects since I got it. And since the last time I cut the phylon, I was like, man, there's got to be an easier way. So I tried this, and boom, it cuts like a pair of scissors. So, and also, like little to no dust at all. So there's no shavings or anything left on this thing. And it gives a nice clean cut. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open the garage door. We're going to get some tables laid out there, pull the file on back, and uh, get our spray gun ready. Make sure that uh, everything here on the top is copacetic. And then we'll uh, apply some glue and get this thing on. So we're going to start out by uh, putting some glue in here and got our roller and a little brush. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, roll this down as far as we can, take a brush, and then we'll get as close to our seam as possible. And then we'll roll it up. Depending uh, how easy this is to roll, I might just roll the whole thing. So at least we'll get it up part way and uh, get the top coated. And then we'll go out and spray the phylon. Wait till those things cure up a little bit. And then we'll have a marriage and put these two together. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to get ready to start. Now I'm doing this all by myself, so if you have a couple of buddies that can help, <laughs> it'll probably be better for you. So let's see if I can do this, and uh, we're ready to start rolling some glue. Alright, that didn't lay down too bad, so we've got good coverage there under the bottom at least. Now we're going to load up the gun and we will spray the file on, get the top here sprayed, and get it installed. All right, 
so everything laid down pretty good. We've got pretty good coverage. So the Phylon is sprayed and the trailer is sprayed. I'm thinking it looks pretty good. And no glue here on the back. Thank goodness. Uh, let's see here. I do have a little bit of overspray on the front of the trailer. But that'll clean up with a little bit of acetone. So I'll get a rag and wipe all that up and then uh, let this set up for 20 minutes or so. And then the fun part. So the idea is going to be I have my tables here, got my file on stretched out, down under here, and then I'll get underneath and we'll line up the seam all the way across, and then we'll start rolling it up. Once I get up in here somewhere, then we can grab the roller and uh, start rolling it out, and then we'll slowly go over the top and uh, get it in place. So, let's see how well that works out. Here comes the fun part. So I've allowed at least one inch on each side and hopefully I can get this up here without uh, sticking it all over the place. As a friend of mine, Renald, would say, you get one shot and this is unforgiving. So, let's see here. Alright, we'll put that right there. Sticking pretty solid, so now I'll we'll crawl out. We'll get this in the front here, rolled up. All right, let's get out and uh, roll this up. Stick my butt on here. See if we can get that in place. laying down pretty nice. Alright, she's laid on there. Not too bad. I'll have to take a measurement, but still got a little bit of overhang here. And a little bit more of an overhang here. So it was just off just a little bit. But not bad, about 10 feet, and I probably am off about a quarter of an inch. So now we're gonna take the roller and we're gonna press that in place, and then we can drag it out and we can take a router and trim all of our edges here and uh, make those nice and flush. Yep, I'm winded, <laughs> it took a little work.
All right, that was a little bit of a workout. But now we have the top finished. And I think it looks really good. Cool, and I cleaned up most of the uh, overspray there, some glue. The rest of it I'll clean up when I finish the trailer out. But now I think uh, we'll get the router, we'll pull the trailer out, and we'll get it cleaned up. Take a look at it afterwards. piece is this little tab here that we have left over after we routered and for that I'm just going to use a little Chinese saw I've lined it up with the edge here and we'll set that on there now this is mainly used for wood but <laughs> the best tool you have is the one you got in hand so this is what I'm going to use and uh, let's see if we can't get through this boom look at that that was quicker than I thought Now we'll just do the other side and we can call the top done. So we got something accomplished today, single-handedly. So we now have the file on on top, and uh, we still have one piece that we need to install on the back, which uh, shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, eventually I'll get around to installing that, and then we can work on the hatch. Uh, there'll probably be a couple of design changes that I want to do before uh, before we button it up. We'll talk about that in future videos. So at this point, I'd like to say thanks for tuning in. Uh, hit the like button if you like this. And hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can see the next uh, videos coming up. And if you're interested in the plans, uh, at the end of the video, there'll be a link that you can uh, click on that will tell you how you can get your plans and uh, build your own teardrop. So this is coming along pretty nice. I'm, I'm kind of liking it. And uh, every once in a while when I pull it outside, people pass by. They, they stop and ask questions about it. So it's always a cool feeling. All right. So that's where we're going to leave it for today. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned.